Hey folks, it's Mac again. This week on Cybersecurity 101, Malware Beaconing. Beaconing is when malware communicates with command and control servers looking for instructions or looking to exfiltrate data. The check-in interval for the beacon varies. It kind of depends on the sophistication of the target and the goals of the attacker. The long-haul beacon is difficult to detect with check-ins of several hours or days or weeks apart. Aww, yeah! There are numerous communication protocols that can be used to facilitate command and control communications. These include HTTP, HTTPS, SSH, DNS, SMTP, and even cloud-based services like Dropbox and Twitter. <laughs> Finally something useful for Twitter. <laughs> Oops. The main takeaway point is that common blacklisting or whitelisting techniques often fail. An attacker will likely determine through reconnaissance which methods are likely to work and bypass common firewall rule sets. How do you detect beacons? Let's take a crack at it. Invest in security products from vendors that have mature threat feeds for botnets, command and control servers, and IP reputation scoring. Invest in security products that can DNS sinkhole threat traffic. Look to incorporate open source intelligence into existing access control mechanisms. Deploy application-based firewalls that can detect improper application headers, protocols, and usage. Invest in devices that can detect traffic anomalies, maybe a SIEM or an endpoint defense. Related to detection, implement network segmentation. Move towards a zero trust architecture and the principle of least privilege on accounts this will help minimize the damage caused by compromised devices. Yep, make it better and move it forward. <laughs>